Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So we're going to do some updates on what's going to be happening in the future, very near future. So we're going to be able, we're going to be doing a build. We're going to use a Pure Lube 2 uh, FX from Be Quiet, 360 millimeter rad. I'm going to go over some of the uh, features. Well, not features, but I'm just going to give you an overview. Uh, what I'm going to do, a little bit about how it goes together, of course, choosing between AMD or Intel. So I'm going to talk about those a little bit and move on so let's get going all right so our rad is right here pretty simple now the only thing i wish i don't think they have one but it'd be nice if this could have been white i don't know if they make a white uh radiator but wouldn't that be cool all white cabling everything like that so what some of you may not know if you haven't watched about one of these before your pump is right here okay so it hangs down like that and of course you get it into the box and you can put your rags on this side or this side so give me some comments what you think before I do the build where would you want to see them now normally typically they're on bottom but I don't know sometimes I think it's if you put it on the top you can pull the air colder air into the radiator and maybe it makes a difference I, I'm not really sure Tell me what you think. Otherwise, they'll go on the bottom, which is pretty much a standard. So on this uh, Pure Loop 2 FX, you got only a couple of things to worry about. You have your fan connector, and you have your adjustable RGB. Hook those up, you're good to go. Of course, then you're going to need peel this off before you apply your thermal paste, and use your brackets. So the nice thing is it comes with an RGB slash fan hub, but what I found is in my case I have a white one so now whether I'll need to use that or not I don't know the other thing is that these are two 140 millimeter fans so I can't use it with it but because they're adjustable RGB I thought maybe I'll use it in the case here somewhere so radiator right I'm not sure if I'm putting it on the top or the front I'll have to play with that and figure it out and the fans that it normally comes with are these they're 120 millimeter black have fan connector and dress of RGB and of course all you're going to have to do is connect your hub and your um, connector uh, for the fans and the address of RGB it's going to have a SATA connector you're going to connect those use your whatever comes with it whether it's an AMD install or an Intel install and uh, you can do that too so let me know whether you want to see an Intel install or an AMD install what would you prefer to see in here so I have the Intel i5 13600K, I believe it is. And otherwise, I'm going to put the 5800X 3D. So whichever one gets the most uh, comments that you'd be interested in, I'll do that. So putting this together is pretty simple. But I just wanted to show you this first, give you an idea of this is some of the stuff we're going to be working on, or I'm going to be working on, on the channel. Right? Just just to touch on that so a couple other products i got now i didn't get these from any particular company but i did get the thermal hero ultra paste so ultra high performance i've never tried that before so we're going to give it a go and i also got thermal hero metallic thermal compound all right so we're going to give those a try that's just an added thing i threw into the mix here um just to see how they work. If you have any feedback on them, if you've tried them, let me know what your experience has been. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, I just wanted to have a couple little updates on what's going to be happening. Um, procrastinating, so that's why things are taking a little longer. But if you want to see them and you're interested, and give me some feedback on the things I just mentioned, and we'll get to it. All right, everybody, so that's pretty much it. A couple of products there little update on what's going to be, what's about to happen so you can see it firsthand and uh, give me some feedback on what you think what you want to see um, where you want the radiator to be mounted what your thoughts are on the fans and uh, yeah we'll see if I can bring it to the video for when I do the build we'll see a little more when I actually do the build so I can explain the actually mounting onto the CPU for the uh, radiator and then we'll do some temps at that time and yeah We'll do it all. Uh, or I'll just decide whatever works for me. Um, but based off of your comments. So stay tuned. 
it's coming up in the future and now if you're new here you like what you see think about subscribing hit that bell for notifications so you can see what's coming up in the future uh, and of course as always thanks for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below leave a comment anyway to provide some feedback on what you want to see all right thanks for watching have a good one bye bye